Hi, how you doing, huh? Doing okay? You notice anything? There are no cars on Sesame Street today because of this sign. It says no parking today. That first word up there is no, N-O, no. Second word is parking. The third word is today, no parking today. So for that reason, there are no cars on Sesame Street today, and that makes a lot of difference, you know? So, did you hear something? Yeah, that, what? a hum, I said. Oh, you said a hum. Yeah, Gordon, you mean, if you put up a sign that says, no parking today, people will listen to what the sign says? Yeah, that's right, sure. Hmm. I got an idea. <laughs> Timothy Frog here, and today we're going to talk about the word no. Now, I see this word right here. This is the word no, and it's spelled N-O. See that? And N-O does indeed spell no. Now, there are many uses for the word no, and among these uses hey, are the... Froggy baby! Oh, no. Hey, did you hear what I just said? I said, oh, no, and that's one of the uses of the word no. You finished? Mm-hmm. How are you doing, little froggy? Well, uh, Grover, I'm trying to give a serious talk about this word right here. That word? So oh, I would let me appreciate see that, that word. That would, looks uh, like a cute little word. Yes, this is the oh, don't, word. Don't, don't, don't tell Grover what the word is. Grover will read the word. Let me see there, the word. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, let me see there. Hmm. Those little letters spell, uh, hmm. Uh, froggy, yes? would you tell me what those letters spell? No. No? No. Why not? Why not what? Why not? You won't read me that word to me. Why not? Uh, no, no, girl, listen. All you have to say is, please read that word to me. Oh, okay. Froggy, please read that word to me. All right. Oh, so that's what it says. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. It, uh, it doesn't say that. What? It, it does what? not say all right. This word is not all right. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it sick? No! What? Listen, uh, you oh. will notice that uh, one of the uses of the word no is to answer a question when you mean not yes, you see, because, of course, the opposite of yes is no, you know? What you talking about? Uh, I, I was just talking about this word. Uh, do you know what this word is now? No! Good for you. Good for me what? I do not know what that word is. Oh, Froggy, please, pretty please tell me what that word is. No! Oh, the Froggy won't tell me what the word is! I asked you, Froggy, what the word is! Oh, Froggy, Grover, you're not the man! Grover, Grover, wait, wait a second, wait a second, Grover. Oh. Come on, come on back here, Grover. Listen, I was just teasing you. I was just teasing you. See this word right here? This is the word no. See what it says? Look, look at the letters. There's an N and there's an O, and that spells no. So the word is no. That, that word there is no? Mm -hmm. That's right. Look at that! N-O. No. Why, why, I could have figured that out all by myself. Froggy, why did you go ahead and tell me? I could have read that word and helped you explain it and everything like that. Oh, little froggy pal, any time you have trouble reading a word, you just call old Grover, okay? No. <laughs> Hey, Oscar! Ah, uh, no knocking! No knock? What, what, what is all this? No knock? No, no, what, what's all this? These are my signs. These Those signs? are your, yeah, but what do they all mean? I mean, you know. Ah, uh, Gordon, they mean exactly what they say. No knocking, for instance. And, but, no visitors, no ball playing, no standing, no salesman, no sitting, no stopping, no talking, no knocking, no dumping, no deliveries, yeah, no nothing. All right, okay, okay, but how come they're all around your trash can? Well, for the same reason they, they put no parking signs along the street. Yeah, but they put no parking signs along the street to keep cars away. Right, 
And since people were always visiting and standing and sitting and talking and stopping beside my trash can, these signs are to tell people to stay away from me. today. Uh, rot. Hey, listen, I just met Molly coming up the street, and uh, she asked me to give you this package, Oscar. Th that package? Did yeah. it say from uh, Death Valley? Yep. My friend uh, Melvin Meany went there, and he sent me a spiny cactus. Oh, uh, no Yeah, yeah, say, give it to me. That would well, be great. Oh, wait a minute, Oscar. I, I just noticed there's a uh, no delivery sign here. I I'm sure that means all mail and packages, so oh, I'll, uh, well, I'll well. just give it back to Molly. I'll oh, see, but, I'll uh, see but, but wait a minute. I, I was the one that put that... Oh, 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 Oscar. Uh, hi, uh, my trash can is full of, and could I leave this box full of uh, what, what's in old it? wash rags, old bottles, and bottles? and uh, and 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 these comic card, books? yeah, those are comic books, right? Old these comic, comic books. Comic. Oh, can good, I leave good, them good. here? Leave them right there. Just right. dump it right there, and I can. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. No, no, I can't do that. Why not? You've got the sign here that says no dumping. Oh well, forget that. No, I... no, no. I better take it somewhere else. Oh, and dump but... it there. Oh, but. Oh, uh oh, here comes the mud man. Oh, he's going to bring my fresh delivery of mud. I'll go down and get the empties for him. I am the mud man. They are the mud men. We... Hey, Oscar, I got your uh, new supply of yucky mud here. I... What's that? Oh, no deliveries. Huh, well... I guess Oscar don't want his yucky mud. Here's the empty bottle from last week, and you can put in... Where'd he go? Oh, no, he's gone, too. Uh, what a day. First, no mail. Then, uh, then there's, there's, there's no uh, delivery of mud. Mr. Hooper took his trash back. Everything went wrong. Uh. And why? On account of my silly no signs. Well, they weren't a good idea at all. Get all of these signs. Good heavens. What was that? <gasps> my window. Why, look at my window. It's broken. Why, I wonder how that happened. But to figure that out, I'd need a detective. Come in. Who are you? Sherlock Himlock. The world's greatest detective. Oh, yeah? Ah, there's a mystery in the air. There is? Mm, I can feel it in my bones. Mm -hmm. Yes? 
The mist lies low on the meadow. It does? The grey clouds cover the moon. They do? Yes. He can. What's this? your problem? Well, well, you see, I was just sitting here, Mr. Hemlock, and all of a sudden there's this big crash, you see, and my window is broken back there. See? He can't. Let me think. Mm hmm Yes, yes, I have it. You do? Yes. Already? I know what to call this case. Well, the case of the broken window. Oh, brother. Now, let's look for clues. Hmm. Okay. What do you think it could have been that came through that window? Well, that was what I was about to ask you. Or did I ask you that already? Hmm. I have it. You yes, do? a very small airplane was flying too low. It flew right in through that window into this room. Now, if we can find that plane, we will know all. Yeah, well, uh, gosh, Mr. Hemlock, I don't, I don't see any plane around here, but, uh, mm. hey, look at this. What's that? Well, it, it appears to be a baseball. Why, so it does, a baseball. Perhaps it was this baseball that came through that window. Hmm. Young man, in my opinion, it was that baseball which came in through your window. Why, that's fantastic thinking, Mr. Hemlock. Hmm. Now, if we can only figure out who caused this baseball to come through that window. Well, uh, you look over there, and I'll look over here. But, Mr. Hemlock, hmm? wait a minute. What's this in your hand? Hmm. It appears to be a baseball bat. Yes. Mr. Hemlock. Yes? Turn around. What's this? What's this on your back? Oh, that's number five. That's my number on the Sesame Street Sluggers. I'm shortstop, you know. Yes, baseball's my favorite sport. But hey, hey, oh, there you are, Sherlock. Come on, the whole game is waiting for you. Oh, hi, Ernie. Hey, you should have seen the great home run this guy Sherlock just hit. He tied up the whole score. Hey, come on. That may be a clue. You, you, Mr. Hemlock. We're the one who hit that home run which knocked this baseball right through my window. Egad, that's it. Yes, quite. Sherlock Himlock has solved another mystery and also tied the score. Yeah, but... Tut, uh... tut, my boy. No elaborate reward is necessary. <laughs> Simply return my baseball will be sufficient. Yeah, but, Mr. Himlock, but, well, here's your baseball. <laughs> It's another window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hi, Bluebird. Uh, hi, Maria. I've been waiting for you. You have? Yeah. For me? Yeah. Why? Because look at all these nice pieces of cardboard I found by the construction doors. Oh, what pretty patterns. Aren't they nice? They look a little like checkerboards. I thought we could play a game with them. Oh, you want to play that? a game? Yeah, yeah. Wow, I love okay. games. <laughs> now, pay attention now, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. I want you to tell me which one of these three matches this one. The one you have your hand on? This one right here, yeah. Which one of these matches this one? Mm, which one? Take a guess. This one. This, this one? This one matches. No, no I, I'm afraid you're wrong, Big Bird. See, these wrong? lines are kind of, these lines are curvy, and these are straight. No, that's oh. not a good match. Uh -huh. oh. Try again. Okay. This one. This, this one, one matches that no, one. No, no, look, see, these lines are straight. These are squares, and these are more like like uh, diamonds. Oh, uh, well, if this one isn't right, yeah. and this one isn't right, yeah. it must be this one, but I don't see why. You don't? Doesn't well, quite look right to me. Well, why don't, why don't I put them on the floor for you, and you can get a better look at them, Put them okay? on the sidewalk, okay. and I will take a close look, because I'm not really sure. How's that? Well, let me look closer. Hmm. I'm not really sure. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think now 
I'm sure. Yeah? How come yeah. you're sure? Well, I was kind of sure before. Yeah. They're both kind of like diamonds, like you said. Yeah, that's right. But now they look exactly, exactly the same. Exactly Well, how come? Well, because they both have diamond pattern and great big bird footprints. Okay. Hmm. Thanks, big bird. Thanks. It's all right. Hi there. Oh, hi. I'm Tom Smith. Ah, oh, glad to meet you, Tom. Uh, you can call me Alphabet O'Malley. Alphabet O'Malley? Mm-hmm. That's a funny name. Well, it's not my real name. Oh, I, I want to call you by your real name. Oh, okay. Well, see, my real name is Arnold Byron Charles David Edward Frederick George Harold Ivan Jerome Kyle Lester Melvin Nestor Obadiah Percy Quincy Rasputin Stanislaus Thomas Oster Virgil Wildemir Xavier Yancey Zebediah O'Malley. Wait a minute. You mean your name is Arnold Byron, Charles, David, Edward, Frederick, George, Harold, Ivan, Jerome, Kyle, Lester, Melvin, Nestor, Obadiah, Percy, Quincy, Rasputin, Stanislaus, Thomas, Ulster, Virgil, Wildemir, Xavier, Yancey, Zebediah, O'Malley? Yep. I don't think I can remember that. Oh, well, well then why not call me by my initials? Your initials? Yeah. My initials are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, O'Malley. Your initials are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, O'Malley? Yes. Mm-hmm. How'd it be if I called you Alphabet O'Malley? Fine with me, Tom. Thanks, Al. I live on a Pueblo in New Mexico. My name is James, and I'm a coach to the Indian. This is my mama. This is my daddy. I have two sisters. Christine. Georgia. My people have lived on this land for as long as anyone can remember. Sometimes it seems like the dogs want to go to school with us. Oh, look at that! 
A great big book. Oh, wow. A book? Yeah. What, what, Just what? what I've been looking for. Oh, wow. Look at the terrific picture. Hey, wait a minute. I saw the book first. It belongs to me. Well, I have it, and you can't. Mm. I'm going to read it all by myself. Hey. Oh, boy. But there sure are a lot of words here. There's the word once and the word a. Gosh, I wish I could read more words. Well, I know how to read, and I am going to read the book. I'll read the words. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see, there's the, uh, oh, there's the word upon and the mm. word lived, and uh, some of the others are a little harder. You're right, you know, some of these words are tough. Yeah. Mm. Hey, I have an idea. What? You know some words, and I know some words. Hey, yeah, yeah. And so maybe we can read the book together if you read the words you know, and I read the words I know. Good. You okay. Start. I'll you start, because I know okay. the first word is once. And then the word next is upon. A. Time. There. Lived. A. Mouse. And. A. Cat. And. They. Both. Went to the store. One, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. to you, and as an introductory device, I am going to let you gaze, undisturbed, to your heart's content, at this fantabulous numeral 12, so that you may recognize it when, whenever it crops up in your bumpy travels through life. So from the day forward, remember that whenever you see this numeral on clocks, on buses, on elevators, or on the backs of football players, you will know it is a 12. So remember, tell your friends, there is a 12. But remember, my friends, that there are countless base imitations and worthless counterfeits on the market. Accept no substitutes. Nothing less than 12. Thank you.
para arriba y para abajo. No hay más que eso. Ahora es una línea con un triángulo. Una bandera. Y ahora es una línea con dos triángulos. Ya sé, es un paraguas. No, me equivoqué. ¿Tres triángulos? ¿Qué es eso? Ahora son cuatro triángulos. ¡Es una cometa! ¿Qué veras? ¿Es lo que es? Miren, miren lo que le está pasando. ¿Se cayó? ¡Y se le cayó un pedazo! ¿Qué es esto? Eh, ya sé. ¡Es un pescado! Aunque eso es lo que era. It's just a line. Just a line going up and down. No, it's more than that. Now it's a line with a triangle. A flag. And now it's a line with two triangles. I know, I know. It's an umbrella. I was wrong. Three triangles? What is that? Now it has four triangles. It's a kite. That's what it is, all right. Yes, it's a kite. Uh-oh, something's happening to it. It fell over. And the piece fell out. Mm. What is this? <laughs> I see. It's, it's a, a fish. fish. <laughs> so that's what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, it gives me great pleasure to announce that with us today is that well-known scholar and lecturer, Professor Hastings. Yes, thank you, thank you, yes. Ladies and gentlemen. No, oh, no, oh, yes, yes. Young man? Uh, yes, Professor. Uh, what, what, what do I talk about? You. How sweet. Well, I was born uh, many, many years ago to poor but honest parents. My uh, childhood professor, was professor, a normal child. Uh, that's hmm? not what you're supposed to be talking about, Professor. Hmm. Uh, what what uh, did you say I was to talk about? You. But I was talking about me. Uh, no, Professor. The letter U. See there? The letter U. Oh, quite. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. The letter U. It is an extremely important letter. Yes, it is shaped sort of like a uh, horseshoe. Yeah, yeah, quite, yes. And uh, it is the first letter in the word, uh, um, uh, um, 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 yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah. Professor. No, uh, umbrella, umbrella. First letter in the word umbrella. Who was that? Yeah. Now, the uh, letter uh, U is, uh, is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Professor. Yes, 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 what, what? Oh, hello. What, 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 what was I talking about? You. Oh, you? Yes. But I hardly know you. Uh, no, no, Professor, the, you don't oh, understand. Oh, oh, it's... very well. You. Well, now, you are an announcer and have a pretty voice. And uh, this concludes me another exciting lecture by Professor and Hastings. You, uh, this wear way, your clothes Professor. very well. You have uh, gray pants and uh, horn socks. Uh, quite smart uh, blue shoes. <laughs> Hello there. I'm here to tell you about the letter U. It looks like a horseshoe. No, well, it isn't. No, it's a letter. See, the letter U. U is a nice letter. Got a nice heft to it. Uh, put it back. No, U is a very important letter. I got a very important letter once. It was from my uncle. The word uncle begins with a letter U, see? Is that a fact? I wish I'd known that at the time. Oh, U is a great letter, and it's used all the time. Not too many words begin with it, of course, but lots of words kind of use it in the middle. Uh, how about near the end of a word or near the beginning? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. U can be used almost anywhere. You can start words with it, use it in the middle toward the end. It's kind of an all-purpose letter. Okay, I'll take it. How about you? It? Oh, it's not for sale. Oh, no, 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 it's uh, free. Oh, well, what's the catch? You got to order so many a month or something? Oh, no, there's no catch. No, no, U is free. See, all the letters are free. That's one nice thing about them. We've got 26 letters in the alphabet, and they're all free. You can make all the words you want to out of the letters at absolutely no cost. Uh, are they reusable? Oh, uh, you can use letters over and over. Gee, what a swell idea. Yeah, well, thank you. I got to be going now. Hey, well, hey, you forgot your suitcase. Oh, uh, that's not mine. Not your suitcase? It belongs to the letter U. This is a U. That's a me? That's not a me. That's a U. That's you. That's, that's not a me. That's a U. This is a U. No, that's not a me. That's a U. That's a U.
That's right. Don't you see that's a you? That's a not a me. That's a you. Don't you see? That's a you. That's not a me. That's a you. It's not him. Hey, you know, Leah and Kim and I were just about to play a game, right? You know what game we're going to play? Mm. Mr. Hooper gave us all these things, and he said, see if you can figure out some game to play with these four things. One of these things? One of these things? That sounds pretty good. One of these things doesn't belong here, I think, right? But uh, some of them look almost the same, don't they? Let's see if we can figure out which one doesn't belong, okay? Three of these things belong together. Three of these things are kind of the same. But one of these things just doesn't belong here. Now it's time to play our game. Time to play our game. Hey, that's very, very good. I bet you know which one doesn't belong already, right? Don't tell me yet. Take a good look at it, okay? Can you guess which thing just doesn't belong? Mm-hmm. By the time I finish my song, I'm gonna finish my song. Okay, now look very carefully at all these things and see if you can tell which one doesn't belong. One of these things just doesn't belong here. Tell me now. Did you guess which one? Well, if you guess that this thing doesn't belong here, you know what? You're right. And now my song is done. How did, how did you know that that didn't belong there? Because these didn't look alike. They don't look alike? Because. These kind of look alike, don't they? Yeah, because you wash them. You wash them? Yeah. You don't really wash soap, do you? You wash with soap and make things clean, but what do all of these things sort of do? Do you know what all these things are, first of all? They use, you use them. What do you use them for, Kimmy? What would you use that for if you had your kitchen? Hmm? Because you use them for gravy. For gravy, that's right. You can scoop out gravy or even soup with soup. it. Or even soup. It's a soup ladle. And that you scoop out ice cream. Scoop out ice cream, right? That's an ice cream scoop. And how about this one? A spoon. A spoon. You can eat your soup with that one, right? So all of these things here, you can use for sort of spooning things out, right? But you can't spoon things out with the soap, can you? <laughs> That'd be impossible. <laughs> what do you do with the soap? You wash it. You wash with it, right? You can wash your hands with it. Right. That's why that one doesn't belong. <laughs> Wings 
quite good for flying. Eating makes your bones grow straight without your even trying. Eating is important in a very special way. You must eat very carefully so you'll get bigger every know something? Everything that lives needs food. That's right. Now you take this plant. This plant needs food. It gets its food from the soil. That's where the roots pick it up, down in the soil, you see? It needs a couple of other things. It needs sunlight, which it gets from the sun up there, and it needs water. So I just happen to have some water here, and I'll give the plant some water. Okay, well, that's good for the plant too. And animals, they need food also, you know that? Ooh. Uh, you bet we do. Right, and animals get their food from plants too, you know. Ooh, man, do I like to eat plants, hmm. especially flowers. Oh yeah? No. Well, all right, you see now after the cow eats the plant, then the cow produces milk, see? And milk is something that people like. Now, here we go again. I water the plant, give the plant food. Then the plant grows. And once the plant grows, the cow eats the plant. You like that cow? Ooh. Cow eats the plant, then the cow produces milk. And that's a lot of working together. Hello. Hi. What do you have there? It's the perfect picture of you. Really? In fact, I very much admire you. I adore you. Looking at this picture, I can't take my eyes off. You. Oh, let me see ah. the picture, please. All right. I, but that's the letter U. That's what I've been saying. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> oh, you beautiful you. The telephone's ringing. Ernie, where'd you put the telephone? Uh, let's see. I think it's in the basket here. In the basket. Yeah. Hello? 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 Let's see. Here we go. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Wrong end. Hello? 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 Uh, hello? You dodo. Hello? Don't you know what a telephone looks like? Well, of course I do. Uh, Let's see, uh, this must be a telephone. Hello? That's a banana, you meatball, not a telephone. Shh. Hello? Oh, oh he's right here. Yeah, well, well, hold on. It's for you. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry, he can't come to the phone now. Oh, he's talking on the banana. Hello? 
Me hace el favor de darme un litro de leche. Uh, uh, excuse me, I don't speak Spanish. Me hace el favor de darme un oh, litro Maria, de leche. Oh, Maria, please, yeah. could you help me out uh, and translate what she's saying? I don't understand sure, Spanish. Sure, okay. Me hace el favor de darme un litro de leche. She's saying, could she please have a quart of milk? Oh, sure. Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. Adiós. Un litro de leche. Un litro de leche. Thank you. Okay. You're a strange beast. I, sir, am not a beast. I am a small you. I help make words. Words? Words. Like use. Unit. Used. Useful, not to mention ukulele, usual, unique, and universe. Well, what do you think of that? Not very much. Why not? I can't read. I'm a dog. I know where you get ice cream. Remember to get at that place where you get milk and candy and ice cream? Well, that's where you get ice cream. At that store. I know where you get ice cream mostly. By cows. Because cows have milk in them. And their milk is for ice cream. Milk! 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 Oh, milk. milk. Fine. I bet they're hot. 160 degrees. They're stirring the milk up. And they're putting in the flavor. There's vanilla. Not vanilla, vanilla. Mix it up, sort of. Now it's being cooler going into the freezing machine. 20 degrees. There's the chair. And now they're going into the bucket. That's the ice cream box. That's no. That's when they fill it. That looks like vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. Not vanilla. Fun now. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> now it's going to the freezer. So it freezes. So it won't melt. Into, into the, the freezer. freezer. That's the cold. cold. Wow, look. Oh. That's like snow. It is. It is snow. Zero. Now they're going to make a kind of ice cream cone with peanuts. That's chocolate. Yummy. Chocolate syrup. There's the machine that does it. Mm. Now, now, now they're dropping the cones in. They're putting ice cream into the cones. Crop, 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 not crop. The ice cream going. There's the chocolate. time I slice an onion, it makes me cry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that I'm sad or anything like that. See, I'm not sad. It's just that there's there's something in, in onion juice that, that makes my eyes water, <laughs> and so I cry. Hey, Ernie, parents, <laughs> will you look at this, huh? Look oh. at this new toy truck I have. Isn't that great? See, see it dumps? See? Hey. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. That's really neat, Bert. Yeah. Hey, can I play with that, Bert? Oh, oh, no, Ernie. No, 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 no. Every time you play with my toys, my new toys, you, you break them, and you're not going to break this one. Okay, Bert. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. Hey, Ernie. What, Bert? And what's the matter? Nothing, Bert. Ernie, you, you, you're sad, aren't you? 
Uh, no, Bert, I, I'm not, not sad. Yeah. What, what makes you think that, Bert? Well, you're crying. <laughs> That's what makes me think that, Ernie. And well, Ernie, I know, I know why you're, you're sad. I'm not sad, Bert. Yeah, I'm you're not. sad. You're sad. I know why you're sad, because... I won't let you play with my new toy truck. No, no, that, that's yeah. not it at no, all. No, you're right. It's I was selfish, you Ernie. I was selfish, and I bet I know how to cheer you up, too. You don't have to cheer yeah, me up, Yeah, yeah. I made you sad, so now I'm going to cheer you up. Not only am I going to let you play with this new toy truck, I am going to give it to you. Go ahead, oh, no, Bert. No, listen. <laughs> Go ahead. Take you, it. You don't have to do that, Bert. Oh, look, I want you to have it. I don't want you to, to, to be sad, Ernie. Go ahead. Take it. Well... Thanks, Bert. There, yeah. Does that cheer you up, Ernie? Huh? No. No? Hmm. Why? You see, because I wasn't sad to begin with, Bert. You see, I just always cry when I'm slicing onions. But thanks for the truck anyway, Bert. Two eyes. Two ears. Two nostrils. Two horns. Two arms, two wings, two flippers, two fins, two hands, two legs, two feet, two humps. Two heads. Two heads? Oscar? Yeah? You ever play What's in the Box? What? What's this, another game? Now, yeah, it's another game. It's called no. What's in the Box. You have to guess what's in the box. Guess what, that box there? Yeah, this box here. I'll give you a hint. Mm -hmm. uh, it starts with the letter P. Yeah? And yeah. it's small. It's small? Small. Let me see. Starts with a little P. Small. Yeah. Ah, I know. What? It's a baby pickle. Oh. Pickle starts with P. Come on, Oscar. It's not a baby pickle. Oh. Now listen, listen. Here's another hint. All right. Um, it's uh, it's furry. Now I'll give furry. you some more hints, women. It's furry. It has floppy ears and uh, four legs. If you can't get oh, it. Oh, well. You got it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it's a furry, floppy-eared, four-legged baby pickle. Hey, man, I told you it wasn't a pickle. It's not a pickle. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, look. Look, I better just show it to you. Ready? Yeah, I guess You ready? So. It what? is a puppy. A puppy? Puppy. Oh, bleh. You got me all excited for nice... Sour pickles. Then you pull out that cute little fluffy, cuddly old puppy. You know something, Gordon? You got some nerve. Some nerve. No, don't let him bother you. Don't let him bother you. He just doesn't understand. P. 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 That's the letter P. 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 P is for <laughs> porcupine. <laughs> a porcupine. Porcupine begins with the letter P. <laughs> yeah. See, one, two, three, four. Four legs. Porcupine. A porcupine has prickles. Wow. He still has a, has a lot of prickles. Pointy, prickly, pickly needles. Ow, take them up there. I'm telling everybody out there in TV land. <laughs> Be careful of those prickles. Yeah. <laughs> Never pet a porcupine unless you know he won't hurt you. Never pet a porcupine unless it's asleep. Why? I don't know. Because oh. his things will go down. <laughs> a porcupine can prickle you. Prickle, of course. And never touch now a porcupine when it's awake. Because porcupines... Not really if it's asleep either. Not ever? Never. Ouch. <laughs> Yeah, it's a porcupine. I know it's a porcupine. Hey, I am one lucky bird. You know why? Look what I've got. A bag all full of bird seed. And that's what us birds love the best. I am going to eat some of the bird seed. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 
Mmm, you know what that tastes like? It tastes like some more. <laughs> Here I go. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Guess I'll have some more. <laughs> Mm. That is good. I'm going to have some more. Uh-oh. I've eaten so much. And there is now none. There is no more bird seed. The bag is empty. But boy, am I full of bird seed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play television's favorite game, What's My Part? And here's our genial host and moderator, Guy Smiley. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to What's My Part? This, as you all know, is that game show in which a famous part of the body comes to our studio and tries to stump our panel of experts. So let's get right on with the hilarity and meet our panel now. Our first panelist is that warm and witty Mr. Bennett Smurf. Thank you, Guy. As the firefly said when he sat in the water, I'm delighted to be here. Oh, that was witty and warm, Bennett. And our second panelist is that fine actress who would add charm to any panel, Miss Arlene Frantic. Thank you, thank you. It's certainly a pleasure to be here, Guy. Well, it's a pleasure to have you here, Arlene. And our third member of the panel is new to What's My Part, but I'm sure he'll play a fine game, Mr. Cookie Monster. Oh, uh, oh God. Okay, it's uh, nice to have you here, Cookie. And now, panel, if you'll put on your blindfolds, we'll ask our mystery guest to come into the studio. Are you all blindfolded? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, then will our mystery guest enter and sign in, please? The mystery guest is a nose. Okay, panel, our mystery guest has signed in and our home audience knows who it is. I'll just tell you this. As usual, our mystery guest is a part of the body. Okay, Arlene, let's go to you for our first question. All right. Um, Mr. Part, are there two of you on the face? And are you used to see out of? And do you have lids and lashes? And some people have brown ones, and some people have blue ones. And are you very important when you want to wink at someone? No, no, that, that would be an I, and I am not an I. I'm sorry, Arlene, that's one wrong answer. Let me just flip over the one here. There we go. Uh, Bennett, the next question is from you. Bennett? Uh, Mr. Part, uh, are you found at the end of an arm? Do you have five fingers? And are you very useful in picking up things? Uh, no, no, no. That would be a hand, and I am not a hand. Sorry, Bennett, but hand is not a right answer. That is two wrong answers. Uh, Cookie Monster, let me turn over the two here. Now, Cookie Monster, it's your turn next. What do you think? Hi, guy. Yes, hi, Cookie. Uh, ask oh, your question, please. I tell you, I know what it is. Uh, Mr. Part, are you in front of the face, and uh, do you uh, put food into yourself there, and then do you are you good for singing and whistling, and do you open wide when you go to the dentist? Huh? Uh, huh? No, no, no. That would be a mouth, and I am not a mouth. That's three wrong answers. You have stumped the panel. They could not guess who you are. Okay, panel, you can take off your blindfolds and see who the mystery guest is. Who is that? What? Well, what's that? You've well, got to be kidding. Well, do you see who it is? Do you know what that you know, is? I am in the fog, yes, sir. Bennett, I don't know. Do you? You uh, don't I mean, know who this is? No. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Mr. Part, perhaps you can give them a hint. All right. Uh, <gasps> 
What was that? How about that, Colonel? Do you know what that is? Made a funny I pass. Noise. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I think it's an elbow. Well, just a second. Perhaps we can give you one more hint, Mr. Part. All right. <laughs> How about that, panel? I, I think it's a toe. knee. Is it a, a toe? I think it's a, a toe dancing. Uh, a toe, a toe dancing. Uh, well, I, I, I'm sorry, panel. This is a nose. A what? It's a nose, panel. It's what? a nose. A Can't what? You tell a nose? Nose? What's a nose? a nose? Oh, dear. It's a... Uh, I'm afraid we've run out of time. Be sure to do it again. I don't know what a nose is. Now that our fun film game of what's my heart. This is Guy Smiley saying, so long for now. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters P and U and by the number 12. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.